Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install PPSSPP, which is a PSP emulator, on your iOS device without jailbreak. Yes, you heard that correctly, without a jailbreak. So it is, it's not that difficult to be fair. The only sort of prerequisite that you need is that you need an iOS developer account, which, you know, requires, I think it's a $99 per year fee so if you're already developed you've already got it great if not and you're interested and in, in installing this and other applications as well then it's you know you, you can just get it for that so assuming you've got your ios developer account what you want to do is so i've just got the screen recording this is of my actual iphone this is an iphone 6 you just need ios version 6 or newer you should have, I'm sure you'll have a much newer version than that. Okay, so first of all, we need to download a few things. So if you Google PP, SSPP, will I even come up? Nope, I need the two P's at the end. And from, I'll provide a link to everything that you need. Go to download. The gold version is just to help support the developers. So you don't actually get any extra features. It's great if you want to support them, but don't think you that you're not going to get any extra features. So if you are interested in the Cydia repository, which is for a jailbroken device, feel free to click on that. But we can just go for the non-jailbroken iOS device. From here, just select the working IPA, and this will download a 16 and a half meg or whatever the size is when you choose to download it. It shouldn't take very long. Okay, that's all done now. Next, we need to, you know, install it using Cydia Impactor. So, um, yep, just go to that like so. Uh, it keeps, okay, so you don't want to use their links. For some reason, whenever I try and use their links, it goes to that website. We don't want to do that. We want to do Cydia Impactor. Let's just Google it. Then go to the link from here. And I'll find that link works fine. From here, go to whatever OS that you're using and also make sure you have iTunes installed. That's another you know thing to note. So for me, it's Mac OS X. The setup is basically the same on the other versions. Well, if you're on Windows, you might need to install a USB driver, but it's all explained here. So, okay. So this shouldn't take very long now. And Okay, so if we launch that up, you want to drag this onto your application folder. For me, it's going to ask me to replace it because I've already got it installed. So let me type in my password. And okay, that's all done now. So next, what you need to do is actually, let me show you something. So first of all, we need to open that up so it is in applications impactor so if we open this up whilst you have your ios device connected so you'll detect the device the others there'll be a drop down and you can install the cdx extender if you want, but we just want to install PPSSP. So if we just drag over the IPA onto this, you're asking for your iTunes email login. So, you know, this is your developer login. So I'm just going to type that in. Next, it's going to ask you for your password. This is not the password that you actually use to log into your developer account. Let me show you what this is. So you want to go to Apple ID apple.com and just log in so I just need to give permission to this so let me type in the code yeah why not? okay so from here you want to go to generate password so click generate password and you want to literally just type something into here anything you want so i'm just typing city yeah click generate and now you copy this password go back to city impactor paste it into here click ok and i'm going to launch and you just select 
which team that you want to use. I'm just gonna go. Uh, it's asking me for my password again. That's fine. And I'm gonna launch a quick time again, so you can. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So you can actually see that PPSSPP will appear right here. There we go. PPSSPP has now appeared. So how to how do we actually add games? So we can close this down. The way we add games is pretty simple. First of all, you need you know a game. So you ones mania .cc. This video is not condoning piracy. I already own the game that I'm going to download, which is Tekken 6 from the PlayStation Portable. So again, this video not condoning piracy. Make sure you own the physical game. So Tekken 6, and you just click download. Take a few seconds, and then it will start downloading. Okay. So I'm going to cancel this zip file. You just need to unzip that. And once you've unzipped it, you'll get an ISO file. But to actually add that to your, what's it called, to your device, you need to open up iTunes. So iTunes, and go on to the device, I'm going to click cancel. And now what you want to do is go to file sharing, go to PPSSP, go to add, go to desktop, select your ISO, and this will start copying it over. So once that's done, we'll be ready to run it on our device. So let's just wait patiently. So this is really cool. Without a jailbreak, we have been able to install an application, not off the App Store, and we're adding a file to it as well. So you could do this on your iPad, for example. Imagine being, you know, playing P, you know, PSP games on your iPad that'll be really cool. Some sort of you know, iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch one, or maybe like an iPad mini. That would be pretty cool because you know, iPad mini it's a nice compromise big enough screen, but not you know, too big that it takes up too much room. Okay, so I'm just talking now just to pass the time while this you know, copies over. And Okay, still going, still going. Probably another 10 seconds. Let's count 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. About 17 seconds. Okay, that's on there. So I'm gonna control the my iPhone using my actual device. Now I've actually picked it up as you can see. So if I click on the icon, PPSSPP. Yep. Doesn't seem to be launching. Which is strange. One second, I'm just gonna disconnect it. Just bear with me. It's not the application. Just try to launch something else up. It didn't work. I'm just rebooting my device. So it just seems to be something to do with my device itself. So let me reboot it or reconnect it and I'll show you on the time. Okay, so the Apple logo is on my device. Give me a few more seconds. Obviously, you shouldn't have this problem, so you'll be able to skip to the next bit. So, just one moment. Okay, so I just need to sign into my device. Okay, so now 
Uh, it is now connected again. There we go. So if I click PPFFPP now, it's launched, the screen rotated. There you go, the game is right there. So we can go to settings, and there's a bunch of stuff you can do in the settings. You can change controls. Uh, let me just cancel that. Let me slow lighting down, do not need it anymore. And uh, yeah, you can, you know, change the touch controls. You can edit where all of this will be. Maybe you want that there. I want to reset it, you can resize stuff, the visibility, really, really cool stuff. I want to leave it as default. Now, let's go to your game, which is in the root folder. And if you want to locate that again, let's go to Home, Documents, and it'll be there. So click that. For me, it is Tekken. Click X. And again, I'm not condoning piracy in this video. I own Tekken 6. And so make sure you own the game that you will try. Okay, so cool. I'm just gonna quickly get in there so you can actually see it working. But you can see the game has launched, so if I just go into arcade battle, yeah, laws will be fine. And I'll explain what that button in the top does, that arrow, because you can you can imagine what all the other buttons do. What do the what do that top button? I'll show you in a second. So let me just sort out Julia. And here we go. There we go. So that top button, so if I just pause it, if I click that top button, it brings us to this mode. So we can save state. So that means just save the game where it is, which is fantastic. We can go to continue settings or can just exit to menu, which I'm going to do right now. And we're back at the menu. So if we go back to games, that's the overall folder directory, and that's just the most recent games that we played. So that is how you set up PPSSPP to emulate PSP games on an iOS device, such as an iPhone and an iPad, without jailbreak. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.